Okay, so it's Friday, 24th of April, um, and I've just done a 10k run. Pretty tough, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some food now. It is 12.30, and today I'm gonna start a 100 hour fast. So, uh, today is also the first day of uh, Ramadan. So, um, it's kind of inspired me. Uh, I'm, I'm not a Muslim, but I've got a lot of fighters and stuff who train with me, a lot of friends who are, and they're all starting Ramadan today. So, um, it's kind of inspired me to, to start my own fast. Now, I've done three days before, which is 72 hours. So I thought, let's try four days, which is 96. I thought, why not add an extra four hours and get it to 100 so um, I've put this on my social media on my Instagram a lot of people have been asking me you know why are you doing this like I say number one the guys doing Ramadan you know it kind of inspired me to, to do this and uh, number two is I just want to see how far I can push my body I've done I've done 72 hours before I just want to see how far I can go do what other people haven't done um, I know Ben Eddy um, one of Eddie Bravo's students, he did, he did a 10 day fast before, uh, which is crazy, so maybe I'll work up to that, I don't know, we'll see, so it's just a little test, uh, I'm going to eat at my last meal at 4.30 today, and then I'll be able to break my fast in line with the Ramadan breaking of fast on uh, Tuesday at 8.30, and then we'll, we'll see what happens from there, I might, I might take part in uh, the Ramadan fasting during the daylight hours after that um, I don't know so this this hundred hour fast um, it's I am gonna have to drink water uh, but that's it I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have no coffee no tea uh, just just water is all I'm gonna have just to keep me alive obviously if I don't have water at all I will die so um, yeah so hundred hours water fast I'm gonna keep checking in as we go and uh, yeah See how I feel. I felt really good after I did, I did the fast last time. It's like a bit of a reset. So there's a lot, lot of positives you can get from it. And uh, yeah, I'll see how I go and uh, we'll crack on. All right, so it is 4.52 on Friday. Um, Starting to fast now, so I've just ate my last meal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump on the scales, see what I weigh. So let's have a look. So 94.4 is what I'm weighing. So we'll check on that um, at the end of this. I'm guessing I'm gonna lose a little bit of weight. But yeah, we'll see, looking forward to it. Um, should be all right tonight. I've had plenty of food today. It's going to be tomorrow and the next day, which are, are tough. But yeah, we'll just take it one day at a time. I'm also using the app called Zero. Now it's Rico Franco, one of my fighters. He actually told me about this app. Um, so I don't know how, how it works or anything like that. I've literally just logged onto it, press start for the 100 hour fast. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'll keep you updated and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I've just hit the uh, 26 hour mark. It is 10 to seven on Saturday. Um, so yeah, we're doing all right, feel all right. Uh, not too bad, obviously I'm a little bit hungry, but uh, yeah, nothing crazy. I, I usually fast for 24 hours before I weigh in for a fight, which I haven't done for a while, but yeah, I'm pretty much used to the 24 hour period. Um, so now we're pushing past that. So yeah, next goal is to get to get to the halfway point, 50 hours. So uh, yeah, a few hours, I'll get some kip. And then uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So yeah, main, main goal now is to get to that 50 hour mark. So uh, I'll keep you all updated. Right, so we've uh, hit the halfway mark. We're at 50 hours now. So it's Sunday today. And yeah, feeling all right, I think. This morning I had a bit of a bit of an headache, so I've just kept hydrated, and uh, seems to have gone away a little bit. I think it was more the lack of sugar <laughs> is why I've got an headache. A bit of I know people who do uh, the keto diet or whatever, they have this carb flu, whatever they call it. So I think it's somewhat similar to that, like just a bit of headache. 
craving sugar because I do eat a lot of sugar. So uh, yeah, but we're halfway. That's a big, that's a massive hurdle. So I'm gonna keep keep soldiering on, and uh, yeah, keep going. I had a bit of a walk today. Um, steady walk about three miles with a dog, and uh, yeah, I felt a little bit light-headed moving about. So like when I get up and down quick, I feel light-headed. Definitely couldn't train doing this. So I wouldn't recommend anyone does any kind of physical exercise while you're fasting. Uh, unless it's you're fasting for a short period of time. So yeah, feel alright. Going to keep going. 50 hours done. So uh, 50 to go. So another little thing I did today, it's Sunday, is I tried to stay off my phone all day. So I put my phone on airplane mode, which it still is now. And turn the Wi-Fi off. So I've literally just picked my phone up to make this video. Um, Cause I felt like, cause I'm fasting, you know, I need to keep myself busy and I was just scrolling on Facebook and uh, not getting anything done. So I thought I'd give a, a full day. So I've actually fasted from my phone today as well, which is pretty good. It's something I might implement every Sunday. Cause I feel like it just, uh, takes up a lot of your time doesn't it you get stuck in social media so social media fast as well for 24 hours um, in the middle of this so give it a try right it's monday morning half eight 64 hours in to the fast uh, i felt pretty good last night but i went to bed felt tired had the worst night's sleep literally nightmares waking up all the time uh, dreaming about food, eating food, and thinking, I've brought me fast now. Then waking up again. Yeah, terrible. I, I usually sleep really good. But terrible sleep. Um, just going to get some water now and keep going. So I think half past four today, that'll be the three-day mark, which is 72 hours. And then after that... It's just uh, one more day, so we'll get in there. Well over halfway now at 64 hours, so I'll just keep going. But yeah, terrible, terrible sleep. It's definitely like messed with me, messed with my hormones or something to make me sleep like that. So uh, but yeah, we'll keep going. So I've hit the 70 hour mark, 30 to go. Just laid in the sun, relaxing. Feel a little bit better now. Felt shit this morning after a bad, bad night's sleep. But yeah, I feel all right. So uh, just gonna keep going. I'm uh, currently reading this as well, Dan Hardy's book. It's pretty good. I'll have that finished by the end of this fast. Hopefully, it's kept me going. So cheers, Dan. <laughs> and uh, yeah, keep soldiering on. Thirty hours. Let's do this. Right, I've made it to Tuesday. It's half ten in the morning. I've got ten hours left to go. Yes, I'm sat on the toilet. <laughs> uh, feeling I'm feeling dizzy when I stand up and walk. So I've just had a little sit down here. Um, keeping the water going in. But yeah, 10 hours to go. I feel Mentally now I feel much better. Physically I feel so drained, like I can't do anything. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful I don't fall downstairs. But uh, mentally, I know I've got 10 hours left. Uh, feels like it's my birthday when I woke up this morning. So can keep uh, keep going now. Not far to go, looking forward to eating. So before the, uh, just before I finish, what I'll do is I'll, as I'll come and weigh myself so you can see how much I've lost. And then I'll do a little video on all the benefits as well. Just going for a little walk. Four hours left of the fast feel pretty good today so uh, I reckon I could definitely keep it going but I'm not gonna I'm gonna eat and then uh, in a few months I might try and go for 120 hours but I've just checked my weight as well I won't show you until I've finished but I've lost quite a bit of weight um, it's the lightest I've been for a long time so um, yeah I've got to finish this walk get back a few more hours and then uh, yeah the final weigh-in final video before I start eating definitely eating pizza just craving it so bad and then um, after I've it I'll make a little video of all like the benefits and uh, 
you know the things that I've taken from this little experiment so see you soon right pretty much made it we're uh, coming to the end now of the 100 hour fast there's about half an hour left uh, the pizza's already ordered but I'm gonna be smart I'm gonna have a bit of yogurt and a bit of fruit first to break the fast before I smash a pizza um, I'm fully hydrated I've been drinking water during this but that's it I, f I honestly feel like I could do 120 hours I could continue tomorrow and keep going but I'm going to cut it short today maybe in future in a few months time I'll do this again try and go for 120 but that's 100 smashed um, give it a try let me know in the comments what you think and I'm going to follow up with a few uh, benefits and some things that I've got from this but yeah it's been a good experiment and uh, yeah I'm feeling pretty good lost a little bit of weight so uh, I'll jump on the scales now so you can see so there we go dead on 90 kilograms uh, we're 89.9 a minute ago so a little bit of fluctuation but that is four and a half kilos I've lost which is 10 pounds and um, that's fully hydrated just no no food <sighs> yeah crazy crazy it's like I've been a big long weight cut for me I'm used to cutting weight and stuff doing like a 24 hour fast but yeah this is four days and four hours um, so yeah smashed it buzzing um, a little bit of time left half an hour watch a bit of TV and then start eating Hey everyone, um, it's the day after, fast is finished, a lot of people have been messaging me asking how much I weigh today, so this morning after my second dump since the fast I was uh, 90.9 kilograms, so I put on a kilogram, that'll be slowly going up because I have been eating today, but I may, uh, I may fast again tomorrow um, during the daytime. As it is Ramadan, I think it's like the sixth day of Ramadan now. So I may try that um, for the rest of the week and see how that goes. Because that's something I'd like to like to try. Uh, but yeah, today I'm just getting getting a few calories in, making the most of it. So uh, yeah, feeling good. A lot of questions that I'm going to answer. Uh, but the main the main two questions is number one. Uh, what kind of benefits did you did you get from it? What what are the benefits of fasting? People saying why why did you do it? And number two, people asking, um, saying that they'd like to try it, and you know they don't think they could do hundred hours. You know what can you do? What are the other options for fasting? So I'm going to answer those now, starting with some of the benefits. So the first benefit is um, just the appreciation of food. Um, I'm lucky enough to live in a society where it's easy to get all the food i eat a lot um i eat every day there's you know unfortunate people out there who people are dying of starvation people don't have food on the doorstep so it's great to to do that and just appreciate that you know we've got it pretty good and uh yeah just just to put yourself in that scenario where you know you, you're going without you have to go without which some people that's their life so that is the first uh, first benefit, the first sort of thing you can take from it that's really good. Benefit number two, and this is the main reason why I actually did this little experiment, is just the mental side of it, the mental strength, the mental challenge. So obviously it's tough to do 100 hours, it's tough to do any kind of fasting. So just, just test yourself and see how far you can push your body. You know, there's people out there, I think there's a guy who fasted for a whole year, he just had water, coffee, tea and vitamins for an entire year, he lost like 100 kilos, so uh, that's crazy, so it's possible, you know, anything's possible if you put your mind to it, so, you know, I've done four days and four hours, I know someone personally who's done 10 days, um, so yeah, try things, push yourself, how far can you push your body? Benefit number three, um, detox, detoxing your body, you know, especially if you've had a bad diet, 
and you're not looking after yourself, just giving your body a rest, flushing it with water, keeping that water coming in, staying hydrated, but just giving your guts time to get rid of all that waste. And that's probably what a lot of the weight loss is going to be, is just uh, yeah, your body just getting rid of everything that's in there. And I think it's a really good idea, say you were going to change your diet, say you were going from eating meat to being a vegetarian, I think that doing a detox like this, doing a fast between the two would be a really good really good method of changing diet. So if you're thinking about you know, changing your diet, I, I would really recommend... Um, doing a fast like this and then and then changing it um, because I think it just gives your body gives your body like a bit of a cleanse and then you can kind of reset and restart so yeah having a good fast like this I think it's good every couple of months to do to do something like this um, maybe not as long as as this as 100 hours but definitely give yourself a couple of days so try it out Okay, benefit number four, and this is a big one that applies to most people, is burning fat. So, doing a little bit of research on fasting. So, when your body's in a fasted state, after 12 hours, your body stops using glycogen, which is basically the food that you've had that's you know it gets stored in your muscles. Um, after 12 hours, it stops using that as an energy source, and it starts using your fat as an energy source. Um, so anything after 12 hours then you then you start to to dig into those fat stores so as uh you know if if you're struggling maybe you're dieting pretty hard and uh you're just not you know you've got stubborn fat in certain places you know maybe it's a good idea to to do a fast and uh see if you can see if that helps you know dig into those fat stores because uh, most of us will you know eat for probably 12 hours in a 12 hour window and then you're probably asleep for eight hours there's, there's a few hours of probably before bed and after you get up where you don't eat so most of us don't go over that 12 hour window where you're going to start cutting into those fat stores so so that's a massive benefit obviously you can see the weight i've lost a lot of that's going to come back on but um i'm going to try and uh, keep keep a little bit lighter if i can and uh, yeah definitely for burning fat um, obviously it's not something you can sustain for long amounts of time but try it see how it works for you okay the fifth and final benefit there's more benefits than this but these are just kind of the top five that that i kind of think are relevant um it's just the the other health benefits so when i was researching like while I, as i was fasting you know i'm on google and looking for different information and papers and stuff about fasting and there's a lot of research that it helps like cognitive function so people with alzheimer's and stuff like that you know apparently it's really good for for people with alzheimer's and uh help helps with a lot of brain function obviously there's a lot of science behind it which i'm not aware of but um you know just reading up there seems to be a lot of studies on that which is really good there's also some studies which show that it actually slows the rate of uh, tumors in cancer so i'm not saying it cures cancer or anything if you don't eat food but yeah, it says that you, you know, they saw a dramatic um, decrease in growth of tumours for people who were fasting when they did tests. So that's that's another really really cool benefit. You know, just have a look into it, do some research, and, and see what you think. Um, also, it increases when you fast. It increases your insulin sensitivity, um, which will lower your blood sugar. So people who've got things like diabetes or hyperglycemia. You know, fasting could be a good, a, a good thing to kind of control that. So, yeah, and also uh, lowering your blood pressure, um, it helps lower your blood pressure apparently. So these are all like say scientific studies. If you if you go out there, um, and, and have a look, there's plenty online. But yeah, there's lots of other health benefits to fasting. But I think I've covered some of the main ones there. Um, off the back of that, please remember, I'm not a health professional, I'm just a stupid MMA fighter who's tried to do a 100 hour fast. Um, I've listed the benefits, there's a lot more benefits than that, but they're, they're the key sort of ones that I take from this. But yeah, you know, do your research, speak to your doctor, and uh, yeah, you know, be safe if you're, if you're going to try this. So for those of you interested in fasting, I did, I did use an app for this, it basically just counted down the... Uh, the time for me but i'm sure there's other other features on there but um 
it's called Zero. It's a free app. Um, so if you look for that, and there's some different fasts on there. So what I would recommend is, I think as a daily fast, the 16-8 fast is really good. So you eat in an eight-hour window, and then you fast for 16 hours. So that means you're going to be four hours over that 12-hour limit where you start burning fat. So th that would be pretty good for weight loss. Um, that is something I have used in the past in fight camps. So I would eat, at, um, I would train at 11, I would eat at 1, and then my last meal would be at 9. So that would be my 8-hour window, and I'd go to bed. So basically, you know, missing breakfast, training on an empty stomach, or I'm training on the previous night's food as fuel. So that's a really good way. But if you look on that Zero app, it's actually on there and it'll time it for you. And you can set it so it'll give you like a notification that it's time to eat. So that's pretty cool. And then you can up it, you know, you can up it so you're only eating in a four hour window and you're doing a 20 hour fast. Then you can do custom fast, which is what I did. You can do a custom fast on there up to seven days, which is something that I'll work up to. Um, obviously, I did the 100 hours, but you can, you know, you could program in. You could try 24 hours. I would say that's a good one if you wanna if you wanna do one to try and then uh, try 36 hours, then try 48 hours. But if you're gonna try it, please spread it out. You know, try it, try them a month apart. Don't try lots of fasts, you know, in succession because it it does put stress on your body. So try and uh, space them out a little bit and be sensible, be smart. But yeah, definitely definitely check that app out. And as I've mentioned a few times, it is Ramadan right now, so you know you don't have to be Muslim if you want to try fasting, like the Ramadan style of fasting. You know, try it. And uh, like I say, a lot of my fighters are Muslims, so you know I try it just so I know what they're doing, and it's all right me as a coach telling them to train. Oh, I know, just train, just train before you eat, before that that nighttime meal. But once you fast, you understand how your body feels and uh, training's pretty tough I don't recommend doing any training while you're fasting at all um, yeah it's pretty pretty feels pretty bad um, and I'm, I'm guessing it'll be pretty bad for your body so yeah try not to train try and uh, just rest keep it you know a bit of walking something like that is cool but definitely don't want to be sprinting or doing any kind of heavy training definitely not sparring either Finally then, just a big shout out to everybody who's uh, messaged me and uh, with words of encouragement while we're doing this and everybody who's just been messaging me asking questions. I've had so many, so many different people asking me questions. Hopefully I've answered all your questions in this video. Thanks if you've made it all the way to the end. Please subscribe, I'm going to do more fasts and uh, you know, give you some more information. If you've done a fast yourself, you know, leave in the comments how you felt. And if you got any questions also, you know, just leave that in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. But yeah, hopefully, you know, you've got something from this. Definitely try, try a fast at some point and uh, let me know how you get on.